Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel today. Uh, I have a really cool idea that I thought of yesterday um, before the stream, and I was kind of thinking it over today as we were playing some ranked, and I wanted to make a video of the best seven weapons in Apex Legends in Season 7 that will help you guys improve and climb the ranks uh, in Apex. And today, I'm going to be talking about a few guns that I think are the best seven weapons uh, right now to climb the ranks now you may not agree you may disagree uh, i'm gonna give you the seven weapons and then i'm gonna break down as of why the reasoning behind it um i haven't played the game since day one i love this game uh with all my heart so if it doesn't align with what you'd like to use then i'm sorry i hope that doesn't you know make you hate the video or dislike the video or hate me um but this is basically to help people improve and get better at the game if they choose to uh so Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for clicking uh, the video here today. Um, I stream Monday through Saturday on Twitch. I'll leave the channel link on the screen, uh, twitch.tv forward slash Tanner Slays. Uh, again, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you want to see um, any more, you know, season seven content, please, please leave a comment down below. Leave a thumbs up on the video. And if you did enjoy the content, yo, subscribe, man. Help the channel grow. Maybe share the video with a friend. But sit back and relax, and I'm going to talk about a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of uh, Season 7 weapons that will help you improve your level of play. All right, so getting into the best weapons for Olympus. Now, climbing ranked has been extremely tough, and I think the reason why it makes it so difficult, uh, it's kind of um, relating to World's Edge, is where like there's a lot of long-range combat, but there's also you know up close and personal combat as well but for the majority of the part a lot of positioning on the map you can see at a great distance so you can see when your enemy is approaching you before you kind of engage the threat but uh, i have some weapons listed here and i'm going to kind of break down why i personally think they're the best uh weapons in season seven you may agree you may not agree but the r301 that's my baby right there so i had to throw that on the list r301 r99 the Scout, the Charge Rifle, the Mastiff, the Hemlock, and the Volt. Those are hands down, in my opinion, the best seven weapons. And I'm, again, I got a bunch of notes here. I'm going to talk about why. Kind of the, the, the second runner-up, I guess, would be the Wingman, the Triple Take. And of course, of course, I'm not even going to add them to the best, but I, I really think they are the best weapons of the game. Uh, all the Care Package weapons. So, like, the Peacekeeper, the Kraber, the Prowler. Guys, those are no-brainers. I don't want, yo, yo, why are they not in your top seven? They're amazing. All the care package weapons are actually, like, top-notch S-tier. So, I'm not even going to include those. I'm talking about more, like, ground loot that you can find that's a lot more easier to then accommodate your playstyle. Because there's a lot of whole people, maybe they don't like going for care packages. Maybe they're too scared. Maybe they're nervous of throwing their game. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to make that clear. Uh, I don't want anybody ripping me a new one in the comment section about, yo, 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 you don't like the, you know, you don't like the Peacekeeper. You don't like the Kraber. What the hell's wrong with you? There's that. Uh, the reason why I think the Wingman is kind of optional is because like if you're, a, if you're a sick aimer, straight up, if you've played a lot of FPS games, maybe a lot of PC games, Counter-Strike, Overwatch, uh, what have you, the Wingman is insanely good. It can bust out um, some of the highest DPS out of any weapon in the game. But if you miss your shots, you're kind of a detriment to your team. You're kind of, you're not holding up your end of the bargain uh, when using Wingman. So very hit or miss, as they say, but it is very, very powerful. That's why I said it is optional. Not everybody is a Wingman gamer. Um, I've had a lot of people come into my chat say that they're very hesitant. They're very scared or, you know, just accuracy isn't their thing. So uh, a lot of people would rather have the old spray and pray uh, weapon instead of the accuracy. Uh, the triple take is definitely up there. I will say there's going to be a lot of people that probably love the triple take. But as for me, the scout and the charge rifle are more consistent uh, damage rather than the triple take. This this gun is nuts. I will say now that you can choke it up, I mean, you can do 100 plus to someone in the head uh, if you have a headshot, especially early game when they don't have a helmet. So the triple take is definitely up there. It's very good. Me personally, on the other hand, I don't use it a whole lot. I think I suck with it. But... Um, I mean, it shoots three bullets instead of one. So, you know, with the long range combat and you having uh, more damage uh, to deal to a player to level up your armor fully into the red Evo armor, um, it works out as a great poking weapon to do that long range distance. Uh, you know, so a lot, I'm, I might get ripped a new one in, in the comment section there of the triple take. I know you guys love it, but me personally, I suck with it. So I don't tend to use it, but it's obviously a very good weapon. I agree. 
Um, I think the flat line, the flat line is not on my list, but I love this weapon. The thing is, is I feel like a lot of people are kind of scared to use this weapon. I think they are intimidated by the recoil, um, how it looks, or maybe it's rate of fire. But as I promise you, as soon as you master the recoil of the weapon, the hip fire is phenomenal. It works out for a perfect up close uh, secondary. Um, some people run it as a primary. Me personally, I run it as a secondary. Uh, I think it's a phenomenal weapon. Again, I think it is one of the most underrated weapons in the game. But again, I'm just leaving it kind of on my list to talk about it with you guys. Also, there is a huge, huge point in uh, the R99. I'm going to leave a side-by-side -side comparison here, okay, of two different skins in the game when it comes to the R99 that actually change your iron sights. Now, a lot of uh, Apex Predator players have uh, known this for great, you know, for a long time since it came out. Uh, now, I really don't know why games do this, but uh, they have different variants. I think uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare might have had something similar when they have these variant weapons. Um, and I am not a fan of it. I don't know why they do it. But, uh, you know, there's people out there that are always looking for the slightest advantage. So it is something that I wanted to mention in a video. Maybe you might not know it. Who knows? You're brand new to the game. You don't know this. But there are two skins. I'm going to leave them side by side. And they basically show two different iron sights, but it's the same gun. So you pick, you kind of pick your poison here of, of which uh, is better for you, which you like more. I just It is something that I wanted to mention. Also, for the wingman, for that wingman, you want to you know, want to be that uh, sharpshooter from across the map using the high noon. Um, there are two skins as well that basically have the default skin. I'll leave it on the far left side of the screen. And then the Merciless Wing is on the right-hand side. I do believe the R99 skin is called Avalanche, I do believe, or has the giant tube on the side. You'll know when you see it, trust me. Uh, and then, then the uh, you know factory issue, I'll leave that on the far left-hand side of the screen as well. But I just wanted to bring this up. I don't know if a lot of people, you know, 100% know it all the time. Or some people may be curious. They're like, yo, why does this guy like using this skin? It has this giant ass distracting fucking tube on the side. And why? Why does he use this skin? It is ugly. Uh, that's kind of the reason why. So I just wanted to mention that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the information that you guys are all dying to know and why, okay? You guys can pick my brain a little bit. Thank you very much for all the positive feedback on the communication, the call-out guide as well. I had a ton of people talking about it in the comment section below and in the live stream. Uh, so thank you very much for that. Uh, thank you guys for all the feedback and comments, uh, likes, uh, brand new subscribers. I will do as much content as I possibly can to kind of pick my brain. Um, I've been playing FPS games for, I don't know, maybe close to 10 years now, a little over 10 years. So... I don't know if that means anything to anyone, uh, but getting into the weapons, uh, the R301, this is my tried and true bread and butter. This is my favorite gun of all time. I have always been an assault rifle player when it comes to FPS games. Um, I feel like my feet are always planted on the ground and every, you know, my, my enemies and my lines of sights and every, you know, everything that I can manage is in front of me. Uh, so I kind of, I would say that my play style is a little bit more controlled. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that I am the SMG kind of aggressive in your face all the time. Uh, but the consistency of the R301 is why that I have it as uh, the number one weapon in um, Season 7 right now. There's an abundance of ammo, the consistency of it at all different ranges, okay? So you have short, medium, and long range, especially no matter where you are in Olympus, uh, it works out as the perfect gun. So uh, the abundant ammo, you can, you can find light ammo, but we're talking about all the P20s on the map. We're talking about all the scouts that are on the map. We're talking about the R301, the R99. I mean, there is an abundance of ammo for this thing. Uh, so you should have enough to survive you the entire game. Or if you are eliminating enemies, they're probably going to have some uh, more likely. Uh, covering all the ranges and the incredible, incredible, incredible range damage and team shooting capabilities that this weapon offers. You can, you know, tag team it with, say, like a Wingman or an R99 or a Mastiff or if somebody has, say, like a Havoc or a Sniper. All it takes is team shooting with this thing, and you can drop bodies incredibly fast, which is why I have it as... It's just an all-around, like, the gun, dude. It's the gun. Um, the hip fire isn't amazing, but it'll do. You know what I mean? It has everything else. Um, it's probably my favorite gun uh, out of Apex Legends. Uh, the R99... 
I know you guys are waiting for this. My God, the R99, hands down, in my opinion, some may agree because Olympus is a little bit, lo you know, long range capabilities. Um, there's more long range uh, fights. I think the R99 is hands down the best gun in the game. It has been since launch. The in uh, incredibly high fire rate makes it really hard to compete with if you don't have one yourself. The hip fire is insanely easy. That's why we be like, yo, Tanner, it's not easy for me, dipshit. Uh, once you master it and once you practice a lot, uh, the hip fire is incredible. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, whether if you're playing on mouse and keyboard, whether if you're on controller, it does not matter. That has nothing to do with the hip fire. It doesn't change it. doesn't make it better or less. Uh, the hip fire is amazing. The abundance of ammo, like we talked about. Uh, and one thing that I uh, didn't mention with the R301, but it has the same attachments as the R301. So you literally can grab this thing on the fly. So at the early game, you can run an R301 when the when the circle is is enormous. Uh, and then as the, the, the game is going, uh, you know, later and later into the game, the, the safe zone is going to be getting smaller. So you're going to have a lot more smaller, uh, long range gunfights. So then you can swap to your R99 when things are a lot closer. So it makes it a lot easier for you. It runs the same attachments as the 301, a little bit more, more versatility there. Um, and it works out great. So you can use it up to, believe it or not, uh, I think a lot of PC players are incredibly talented with this weapon. You can use it almost as if it was an assault rifle. Uh, the R99 can just do all ranges, man. It's a freak of nature. This gun is on steroids. Uh, hands down, probably the best gun in the game, but you may not see it as much compared to the other maps just because of, again, the long-range combat and being able to see your opponent before they kind of push towards you. The Scout, ladies and gentlemen. The first three days of the new season, I have been getting scouted. My ass hurts. It. This gun is on another level. As of right now, it is November 13th of 2020. I'm making this video at 1.20 in the morning right now. This gun, if there is any time that this gun would get a damage nerf, it is probably this season. And again, because of that long-range combat, you can, this is the best gun to poke. The term poke means that you are basically shooting your bullets at a target downrange that you're basically doing damage to, but they're not returning fire uh, onto you. So you're basically poking the enemy. You're being really annoying. You're leveling up your shield because you're hitting your shots. But you are not receiving any damage uh, either. So best gun to poke, hands down. It does 34 damage to the body. 34. I mean, you three shot someone with this thing and their entire armor is broken, which is nuts. Uh, and I was trying to figure out what the headshot damage was. Uh, I went into the, the training uh, arena, the training mode, and I was shooting one of those dummy targets. I shot it one time for 60 damage. That's probably with no helmet involved. Uh, but, you know, having that 60 to maybe like 55, 50, that is insane consistently being able to do that you could two shot someone's entire armor off if you double headshot them this gun is insane uh you can do the two times the bruiser sight the three times the two four the red dot hollow one to two variable whatever scope that you like you can slap on this thing i am so happy that they removed the sniper scopes uh that was around i can't remember which season that was but that was in the past where they basically you can't do uh sniper scopes anymore and thank god because holy shit would it be miserable to be playing Olympus and getting scouted by multiple people with sniper scopes having like crazy amounts of magnification to do all this damage downrange? Um, it would be very hard to kind of close that gap and to basically make them, you know, irrelevant because you close the gap in the distance. Uh, but it's not so good with the hip fire, I will say. Me personally, I'm not a fan of the hip fire with the scout. I will always run a secondary that has a way better hip fire, whether if that is a shotgun, flatline. I really don't like running scout and r99 because you're going to be poking so much you want to have two different ammo types rather than shooting all of your ammo and then running up into a fight with like two magazines worth for your r99 does that make sense so me personally i don't run two uh light weapons you know at the same time some people will say the r400 the r301 and the r99 um i personally don't do that unless it's literally one team left and i have 700 light rounds uh so that's just me but uh, the double tap, I will mention the double tap, okay? This gun is 50-50 for me. I 
am not the biggest fan of it, but if you do like it and you do get consistent with it, everybody's different, right? Me personally, that's just my personal preference. I don't rock it a whole lot, not even on my Eva uh, shotgun. So the double tap with the scout, if you can master it, I mean, all the, the, the damage numbers that I just spit out, the 34 damage to the body, 60 damage with no helmet, you know, and obviously you accommodate that with a helmet. Uh, but the damage output is just gross. I mean, absolutely gross. You can spot someone, you can ambush someone, catch them off guard, take off their entire shield, and then just push them. Uh, so that is up to you. Um, it is viable for me. It's 50-50. Usually I don't run it. Uh, the charge rifle, this is hands down the easiest gun in the game. Easiest. And it's incredibly powerful. One, I say it's the easiest gun in the game because it's literally hit scan. If you guys don't know what hit scan is, is there's no bullet travel time there's no i shoot over here and then the bullet travels across the screen and then it hits its target if i'm literally pointing at this target imagine just a continuous line um so it's as easy as point and click uh point and shoot which is you know at all ranges that's pretty nuts so if you practice with this gun consistently you'll be able to farm up your evo shields um a lot faster they did in increase the cap of getting the red armor to the highest uh the highest level so it's hit scan. It's incredibly powerful. Um, it is hands down the most frustrating gun to get shot by. You will see myself and other Apex Predators and other, you know, pro players constantly complaining about this weapon. It is hands down just the most frustrating. It's like that annoying fly on the wall that keeps buzzing around your computer screen and annoying the shit out of you. And you're trying to swat it away every single time. Uh, and it keeps coming back. So... The charge rifle, if that is your cup of tea, if you're kind of a sharpshooter and want to level up your, uh, you know, your armor, there you go. Any scope on this gun is viable. Two times, three times, six times, four to eight. You can even do the the, the ten times scope, dude, that you can get from the care package. It's filthy. It's gross. Uh, but yeah, it works really good for leveling up your armor as well. I did want to take that mental note. Okay, the shotgun. The Mastiff. This thing is on steroids. I'm talking Pirates of the Caribbean, hand cannon. Just, it is hands down the best secondary. Um, I'm going to make another video here talking about the best composition that I have seen in Season 7. A lot of people have been asking me. Season 7 has only been out for a week. Uh, so there's a lot more of experimenting and things uh, that we can come up with uh, for video ideas. But I'm going to get to that in a later video. Um, the aggressive players that run this shotgun... They will shoot the soul out of your corpse. I'm talking, I don't know how they'll always one pump you for like 150 damage or 140 damage. Uh, it is hands down a hand cannon uh, when it comes to watching these top uh, pro players and Apex Predators. Some people are insane with it. I would say that I'm okay. Uh, but again, I'm not really your kind of run up into your face and, you know, shotgun you for a million damage. Uh, the shouldering. Uh, basically when you are turning a corner and you are peeking with just your shoulder, so you, you're not full on exposing your entire body. Does that make sense? So as you're peeking the corner, if you're only exposing your shoulder, so you're just kind of sidestepping a corner, and if you're shotgun at you shooting and then dip behind cover and then shoot, dip behind cover, shoot, dip behind cover, you kind of do this little like shuffle dance. Uh, and it is so incredibly hard to fight someone who is so good at doing that. When you don't have a shotgun yourself. So that is why I would recommend running this. If you are really that up close and personal uh, kind of player. I think the Mastiff is going to be your cup of tea. You can max out the efficiency with this weapon. If you have a shotgun bolt. Me personally I think a uh, blue shotgun bolt and above. Makes this gun insane. Uh, with no bolt it's a struggle. Because you can't shoot as fast. And your timing might be off when you're trying to shoulder a wall. Um, so I highly recommend having a shotgun bolt for the max out uh, efficiency for it. Um, best gun to run with Gibraltar. If your team does have a Gibraltar and your team throws the uh, Gibraltar dome, his ability. Uh, if you guys are sitting inside, you know, that team has to penetrate your, your bubble. Uh, and when they do, it's all close quarters. And I mean, you just get shotgun for 100 plus every time. There's no point in bringing a spray and pray gun. Uh, so you'll see a lot of these professional teams. If any of you guys watch competitive or the higher ranks, uh, this is something that they do. I don't know if a whole lot of people talk about, but running a shotgun on Gibraltar, especially with his arm shield too. So you have a shotgun that can do 120 damage in one pump, 
plus he has a 50 damage arm shield protection like blocking uh and he has his his bubble so and there's multiple shotguns probably shooting so you can see why it's very like intricate very tactical very critical um kind of way of fighting uh but it makes it incredibly hard so if you like playing gibraltar i recommend getting good with the massive final gun and it has been a long video thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy man leave a thumbs up again leave me some comments down below i'd love to talk to you guys about uh, if you agree or disagree with some of these choices hopefully uh, i don't sound like too much of an idiot but uh the hemlock dude the hemlock hemlock is the final weapon here that i think is hands down one of the best guns uh in season seven now, they did make some changes to it before um this whole season came out i believe they reduced the damage and maybe slowed down the fire rate i could be wrong on that um i haven't read the the, the patch notes uh, that's just like what i heard um but the gun is great at all ranges short medium and long range phenomenal weapon uh hitting your shots in burst mode or going on single fire and being that annoying ass fly on the room um is pretty viable you can use it uh, different sites to maximize the range, the bruiser, the three times. The barrel stabilizer is crucial for this thing. So those are some things that you should look out for uh, when trying to max out your efficient efficiency. Uh, the hip fire is okay. There's kind of a little trick where if you go into the firing range in your, uh, whether if you're on a controller or a mouse, doesn't matter. If you basically tap your aiming button, hopefully you guys don't play on toggle, by the way, toggle is terrible. Uh, tap your aiming and it basically kind of smushes your sight down as if you're aiming but uh, you know don't hold it down just tap your aiming and it basically tightens the hip fire spread you'll notice a lot of players that do this uh, to again to hit as many bullets as possible and hip fire is okay but if you know that trick it makes it even better I did mention that and so good this weapon is so good for team shotting uh if you have say like an r99 or say like a scout or an r301 on your team and you're running this if you guys are team shotting you will drop bodies quick uh, and last but not least the vault the newer energy smg that just recently came into the game i believe last season dude this gun is phenomenal at all ranges the hip fire is great doesn't have an insane fire rate. It does have a consistent fire rate, I'd say. Energy ammo is decent to find. You know, you have the Devotion uh, as well. You have the L-Stars that spawn, the Havocs. Uh, perfect weapon. If you can get all the attachments on it, the Barrel Stabilizer, the Energy Mag, any kind of optic that you like, I think this thing is a beast. Uh, it just screams consistency for me. So again, it is one of my uh, top seven best weapons in the game right now. Overall, it's a solid choice. So if you, if you find it, if you got all the attachments, I would highly recommend. Uh, that's all that I have for you guys today. Thank you very much for watching the video again. Uh, leave me some comments down below if you agree or disagree or just some thoughts of maybe your favorite weapon. What is your favorite weapon and why? And leave a comment down below. Yo, share the video with some friends, man. You got you got that guy that's always yelling in the microphone or spam pinging you in, in, in the lobby every single time you're solo queuing. Yo, share this video to them. Help them improve. I hope this helps you guys climb the ranks and get Apex Predator in no time. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I will see you guys in the live stream or the next video. So, hey, take care. Take care of each other, and I'll see you next time. Yo, peace.